Hi, parents of Aries children, welcome back. Uh, thanks for your patience. I have uh, taken a break, um, but we've got your readings for November, and let's see what the universe has in store for your child. Okay, for the month of November. Oh, okay. I can definitely see some awakenings. And whatever is involving you, I would like to say, has to deal with matters of the heart. So I feel like your Aries child, for those of who this resonates with, um, there is some kind of like deep spiritual healing, emotional. I feel like there is some kind of emotional healing that is taking place with your child. They have the pearl card in the upright that they're connecting with the divine for November. And I, I really see um, some a level of contemplation, a level of thinking about the past, what has transpired, um, learning lessons from the past to make better decisions for the future. Just, it's, it's like a reset button, almost like I get the sense of like happy new year, like just let's, let's do this over. They've learned something, they're processing it, and they're using that information to make better choices. There is definitely some mending going on. Um, it could be a relationship. I really feel that it's a, a belief system within themselves. They're looking at something from a different perspective. So it, it just feels like there was a, a hard learning lesson um, that your child may have experienced, and they are kind of putting the pieces back together, thinking about something, how can they make this better? And it is funny. This is definitely a relationship. <clears throat> so funny. I didn't even look at these cards yet. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so what could be changing is a, a relationship dynamic with your child. Um, if they're older, I see their perspective on the relationship is changing. Maybe they're seeing this person differently. Maybe they, your child may uh, distance themselves from this relationship. It could be a peer, it could be, it's, I really feel obviously that it's a close connection. It could be like a, an uncle or a cousin or a grandfather figure, somebody that meant a lot to them and they may have felt like they're it's an essence of like a trust was betrayed or they learned something about this person that now they have to see them in a different light. So your child may or may not feel let down by this individual and that's caused them to change uh, how they relate to that person. But there's some kind of um, a re relationship dynamic that's changing. Um, I don't want to elaborate too much on that. There's always new stuff and more details that can come up with these readings, but I try to keep them as short and sweet to the point. And if you guys want more information, just reach out to me. So the solution is a uh -huh, nice sign from heaven. So I feel like there's gonna be some kind of messages, some reassurance that comes in for your Aries child in November that helps them to process what has transpired. Now again, realize that we have uh, Mercury in retrograde in the sign of Scorpio. Scorpio is ruled by Mars. Uh, Scorpio is a very emotional sign that has to deal with, um, and I'm like, before I forget, let me turn off the volume on my cell phone so I do not get notifications. Anyway, um, it's, it's, I feel like there's some kind of emotional uh, lesson, struggle, pull that may come up for your child in the month of November that is divine and it's, they're gonna get signs from heaven as far as the answer. It says your loved ones in spirit are waving hello and giving you reassurance that you'll be all right. So 
I don't know what this pertains to. I really feel that it is family. Um, and I'm sure that has already happened. What, and it could have happened last month and now your child is just processing it. But it's some kind of dynamic that is in transition. So for you, dad and mom, I feel that for whatever reason, this heart is very significant. It's red, it's fiery like the sign of Aries. And it, I feel like whatever you're dealing with is a heart issue. And it's the card is, I am letting go of the story of why I can't. Um, it says, today I'm committed to cleansing my spirit, moving forward and letting go of the past. I will no longer waste my time and resources on my old story and pity parties. Life is a journey and my life experiences have shaped who I am today. I am not broken. I am seasoned, experienced, and know what I want in my life. I can and I will. There's some limitation that you have allowed yourself to hold back. I feel like it could be a close-knit connection that you've had or some kind of behavioral pattern that you've just been locked into that has possibly affected how you connect with other human beings. Um, excuse me. And that has limited your ability to either have healthy relationships, healthy connections with people, help, helping you to understand um, people in a better light. But I feel that you are looking at your own heart, assessing your responsibility in your, how things have played out, and you were choosing to do things differently and letting go of, of what you have allowed, what limitations you put on yourself, okay? So that is what I have for you all for the month of November. Ah, thanks for being here. Sorry it's taken me so long to get um, these done, um, but you guys are always in my thoughts. And, well, let me be honest. I think of you regularly, often. I wouldn't say always, but um, you guys are on my in my mind um, as far as getting these done and making sure that you guys have um, what you need. So thank you for um, tuning into this channel and we'll see you guys next month.